Hey everybody, welcome back to another video within the Generative AI tool series. And in this video, we'll talk about how you can use Llama 3 with Olama within Llama Index. Does that make any sense? Well, Llama 3 is out there everywhere. It's all over Twitter. It's all over LinkedIn. It's even on your WhatsApp. It's even available as a meta AI assistant on web. It's making the right kind of buzz for the right kind of reason. The performance is off the chart. So let's go ahead and build a rack solution out of it. So here's a video where you can use Llama 3 with Ola. I can do it. I can do it. Seems like a Llama takeover or something. I can do it. So. back everybody so i'm in the official documentation for llama index and the good thing about llama index is that you can use out of the box llms as well whether it's mistral whether it's claude by entropic whether it's open ai and even llama 3 and the previous version such as llama 2. so here we have a long list of all the available AI configurations that you can do for you know all kinds of LLMs out there. So that makes Llama Index a really flexible tool. So let's go ahead in the code and do it right now. All right, so standard stuff here. So from the very first line, I'm actually importing Olama, which is again, a great tool uh, through which you can use open source models like Llama 3 and Mistral. You can even customize them over there. So in the second line, I'm importing vector store index, simple directory reader, settings and prompt template. And uh, in the third line, I'm importing my .env file and I'm, I'm also loading it over here. So I also have another video uh, which I've made on uh, Llama Index which sort of introduce you to the concepts of vector store index and simple directory reader. So I'm going to hook it up in the cards right now. Go ahead and check it out. Uh, you would again gain more understanding out of it. So let's start with the very first line of code where we sort of initiate Olama and we tell Olama that I need uh, Llama 3 as my model and we provide it with request timeline over here. And uh, within the settings that we have imported from the Llama index core, I'm setting this LLM. And the third line of code is again, we need the documents upon which we want to build the rack solution on. So I have a data directory here and within the data directory, I have a summary version of the dancing man, which is like one of the stories of Sherlock Holmes. So it's kind of interesting. Go ahead and read it if you haven't. And the fourth line is we create an index out of it. So if you're a new viewer, just for your understanding, vector store index is more like a data structure, which helps index the embeddings, uh, which are generated out of the documents right here. And then we are basically initializing the query engine and we are setting the streaming true and we are providing the similarity uh, top k is equal to four. So this is us telling uh, Llama index core or its query engine that uh, whatever embeddings you gather uh, in terms of our query, just pick the top four. So we're sort of providing it a window uh, in which it can fit the similar solutions. And finally, we are curing through our query engine and we're asking who is the culprit. We're catching the response here and in the fifth and the final, sorry, sixth and the final line, we're sort of printing the response out. So let's go ahead and run this. I'm just gonna shrink the doo -doo 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 right here. All right, let me just fit it over here. So, all right. Wow, that was subtle. Abe Slaney, you know, just like that. Seems like a lazy model. So let's go ahead and ask more questions. So who is Abe Slaney? That is the best one-liner answer I've gotten from an LLM. Nice. All right, a former criminal associate of LCs from America who has been sending coded message as a 
warning. Wait, I'm just gonna stretch it all out. So coded message as a warning to her to stay silent about the past association which could jeopardize his plans for a new life in England. Oh, nice. Let's say, tell me the summary about the case. And this should be interesting. Whoa, I haven't saved the file. Save. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Let's go. All right, a country squire receives a series of cryptic drawings of dancing stick figures on the estate, which seem harmless at first, but soon escalate into mystery with potentially deadly consequences. The victim's wife appear disturbed by the symbols. Uh, so I hope this is enough spoiler for you guys and enough details for me to say that, yep, this is working. So yeah, this is it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something out of it. And that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.